with all that i've said so far i just want to tell you that ghana is not just accra ghana is not just bougie accra kaswa is here for you kaswa is the place to be hello guys welcome back to my channel i am mami sika aqua if you are new here please subscribe and please like this video this channel is basically showing the world that ghana is not just about a cry and that there's so much more you can explore in ghana now someone may ask why kaswa there are so many parts of ghana so why should i show kaswa well i was born and raised in kaswa i have spent 18 years in kaswa so when i tell you about kaswa i know what i'm talking about also Kaswa is the fastest developing town in the whole of West Africa. Also, Kaswa has so much to offer, but no one talks about Kaswa. When you go to Kaswa, all you see is a robbery, politicians campaigning, or just some basic stuff and just the interchange that was built. But there's so much more to Kaswa, and I'm here to show you Kaswa, the real Kaswa. There are so many people moving to Ghana right now and there are so many people interested in buying land in Accra and living in Accra but they can't afford it because the lands and houses in Accra are ridiculously expensive right now and that's why I'm here to show you Kaswa, a perfect spot to be in. First of all, Kaswa is right next to Accra and so if you want to live outside Accra and afford Ghana but you don't want to if you are looking forward to moving to ghana but you want to live in accra and it's too expensive i am here to save you what makes kaswa so unique is that it has the busy part but it also has the quiet serene part so you can go to kaswa market and be overwhelmed with all the people but then you can go to your home and enjoy the quiet, the trees, the hills, and it's just so beautiful. A lot of expats moving to Ghana want to live in Accra because they have children and they think Accra is the only place they can get quality education for their children. Well, let me tell you that that is not true. I went to a school in Kaswa outside of Accra and my school was 10 times better than so many schools in Accra. There are so many schools like Bediako Memorial International School. Hey, international! <laughs> there are so many schools like Bediako Memorial Institute, Peculiar International School, Gateway School Complex, Young Executive School, West End. There are so many schools that are way beyond Accra schools with school buses which Accra schools don't have and so it's more convenient to live in Kaswa because you wouldn't have to hire a taxi or anything for your children but you can just let your children board the school bus. Even though Kaswa is in the central region, it is not a fancy community. Kaswa is so diverse. There are northerners in Kaswa, there are easterners in Kaswa, westerners, there are fancies, there are ashantis. There are people from every tribe in Kaswa. Even in my community, we are Fantis, but my neighbors are Ewes, my other neighbors are Northerners, and it's just so diverse. And so you can live at one spot and enjoy all the different cultures of Ghana. Ever since I was a child, going to Accra was a pain to me because I was always used to the quiet, fresh air good quality of air but whenever i went to accra i realized that it was super hot but it wasn't so far from kaswa but i just realized that there were so many people and so it made the air quality really bad and the pollution in accra is worse like than kaswa like kaswa is i wouldn't say it's super clean but it's way cleaner than accra so if you are like me and you like to live in a clean environment kaswa is for you it's not only accra that you can start a business and be successful you can start a business in kaswa and be successful there are so many business opportunities there are so many people to support you and there are people who can afford what you want to offer kaswa is only made up of some poor people who can't afford to live in accra kaswa is made up of people who just want peace of mind 
that's why they are living there yeah. with the business school and stuff let's talk about enjoyment well we have western small but let's forget about western small today today let's talk about the beaches in kaswa i'm not even going to claim bojo beach or Kobite because those people have said they are part of Accra, so we won't even add them to kaswa but let's talk about nyanyano nyanyano is a place in kaswa it has so many beautiful beaches we have sandpiper we have wakanda beach resort we have the luxury beach like kaswa is booming everything is charming Kaswa is a place to be y'all <laughs> so far i just want to tell you that ghana is not just accra ghana is not just bougie accra kaswa is here for you kaswa is the place to be if you want to live a bougie but affordable life, you should consider moving to Kaswa. With that, I'm going to end here. Don't forget, Branya Warabo, that is how you make it. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.